Since many centuries, astronomers have been aware that the Earth, the Sun and other planets in the solar system, together with billions of stars seen with telescopes, form our galaxy. These stars, if observed far from the city lights, uh, look like milk spilled across the sky and form the band of the Milky Way. However, the internal structure and history of the Milky Way are uh, still far from being well understood, in part because it is extremely difficult to measure distances to stars in the outer regions of our galaxy. Fortunately, there is a type of variable stars called classical cephates, which are bright enough to be seen out to the edge of our galaxy. And in the current issue of Science, we have presented a unique three-dimensional map of the Milky Way that is based on precise distances to thousands of these stars. Cephates are young, pulsating, supergiant stars. Their brightness changes in a very regular pattern with a, a well-defined period, which may range from hours to several dozen days. We used our telescope, located at Las Campanas Observatory in Chile, uh, to image the entire visible Milky Way over a hundred times. We then searched for stars that change their brightness in a specific pattern. Cephids are ideal to study the Milky Way structure because they follow a relation between their pulsation period and their uh, luminosity, meaning that we can measure their intrinsic brightness based on their period. The distance can then be determined by comparing the apparent and intrinsic brightness of the star. Distances to Cepheids can be measured with an accuracy better than 5%. Our three-dimensional map of the Milky Way is the first map that is based on direct distances to thousands of individual objects, as distant as the expected boundary of the galactic disk. Our map shows that the Milky Way disk is not flat. It is warped and twisted far away from the galactic center. Uh, warping of the disk has been detected before but this is the first time we can use individual objects to trace its shape in three dimensions. Warping may have been caused by the past interactions with satellite galaxies, interactions with intergalactic gas or dark matter. We can also estimate an age of a Cepheid based on its pulsation period. The youngest Cepheids are located near the galactic center, while the eldest near the Milky Way's edge. We found many elongated structures in the galactic disk that are composed of stars of similar age. We propose that stars located in those substructures have formed around the same time in one of the spiral arms. However, cepheids that were formed in a spiral arm do not currently follow the exact location of that arm because the rotation velocities of spiral arms and stars are slightly different. This animation shows a simple simulation that we have performed to test such a hypothesis. We have injected several star formation episodes into the spiral arms and assigned typical motions and rotation velocities to the stars within them. We then look at what the galaxy looks like after millions of years and find that the simulated and observed structures are strikingly similar. This shows that our idea about the recent history of the galactic disk is plausible and can explain the structures we see 